If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Marilyn. I am a kids ministry co-director. Hello, I am in our church um, office doing some laminating. It's our well, church library slash meeting room. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Marilyn B from Teach Marilyn B Style and I am back after a very long hiatus. Um, it's been It's been a really long time since I've vlogged. Um, part of the reason for that is busyness and life. Um, the other part of that is, oh, it's ready. Is okay. You put this in properly. One time I let my kids help with this. And when Ollie put one of the papers in, it was crooked and it got all crumpled. Anyway, so part of the reason I haven't been back on here for a while is life is busy. Um, but the other part is that I didn't really have, like, I wasn't sure what to vlog about really. Um, there's not like a, I don't know. I didn't feel this. I didn't feel this desire to, um, vlog every week. Like I had been previously, um, just because it felt sort of uneventful, which is honestly such a godsend. Like the fact that things were really chill and, uh, I just had the ability to, prepare for my, um, prepare my teachers and myself for my classes, um, on Sunday mornings without too much fanfare was really such a blessing. Like, it, um, to go from a season where things were really tumultuous, I don't even want to get into it too much, but, um, to a season where things were just really calm and like running smoothly was such a blessing. And so I think it's probably best if I just spend time this on this vlog, not really catching up, but just saying like, where am I at right now? If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Marilyn. I am a kids ministry co-director. One of my very best friends, Megan, is also a director of kids ministry here at our church with me. And um, we each took on a role that we both get to make the major decisions for um, all of our kids' ministry at large. And then I specifically oversee the nursery and preschool class, um, and Megan oversees the elementary school or school age class. We're still doing that. It's been almost a year. Um, right now it is June, 2022. We both, okay, hang on, let me turn this off. Okay. I'm currently laminating things for our bulletin board. Today's June 12th, 2022. And it's been almost a year since we um, felt led to co-direct our kids' ministry together. And I, I'm really excited, like, as we go into next month and have more time to plan and sit down and reflect on the last year um, and kind of see where God is leading us for um, the fall. I Like, I just, I'm very excited for all the things that I'm going to get to share on here. What you're going to find on this channel is kids' ministry teaching tips specifically um, for that nursery to preschool age, because that's what I'm focusing on. Um, you can always follow me on Instagram where I share all those resources um, at Teach Maryland B Style and also at Joyful Tots Resources. Yeah, so currently doing kids ministry and also working on out school. So my friend Shannon, who I know through VIP Kid, Shannon's been teaching on out school for about two years now. Um, and that first year and a half, she was just really going at it and so, and is so successful. Um, she teaches kids fitness and she felt led to start an organization or an org on out school, meaning, um, her own business. That's an umbrella business under out school. So out school is the teaching platform. Um, they background check and vet all their teachers. And then if you want to start an org, you have your own website and then you apply and say, everyone I hire will then get hired under me. And um, so I am an independent contractor with Shannon, um, with Ready, Set, Fitness Kids. And I've been doing that since March of this year. I started over spring break. 
Um, and it's been so much fun. I teach an Encanto Zumba class for three to seven year olds. Um, and then currently this month we're doing uh, a pod buyout, which means um, I get to teach sixth graders and seventh graders and we do like rotations. So it's basically for their summer program um, for four weeks. I'm doing a Zumba lesson and then a hip hop lesson and then a Zumba lesson and then a hip hop lesson. And the other ladies that I work with provide other um, lessons as well. So um, so that's been a lot of fun. It's It has been a little bit stressful because <laughs> we just started the pod this past week. We actually had all no shows. So that was weird, but also the easiest thing I've ever done to get paid. I logged in and sat there and then logged out 20 minutes later. So, um, but you feel kind of weird because it's like you've prepared these lessons and you want to teach them. Um, but I'm not going to complain about it. So hopefully they'll get that all figured out on the out school end and with the school site that we're working with, um, so that I can actually teach the classes. Uh, it has been a little overwhelming because my kids are on summer. I was going to say spring break. It has been a little overwhelming because my kids are on summer break right now. So just trying to manage like who's going to watch them and how's that going to work because I'm supposed to be, you know, working from my at home dance studio, which in my case is my living room, like literally in front of my sofa. Um, they can't be going up and down the stairs or making a lot of noise. So thankfully though, James has just moved from working two jobs. He was doing video production and product photography for this one company and working at our church um, part-time as the worship leader. Uh, but today, um, but today actually James just got ordained as um, a pastor elder here at our church, which is super exciting. And um, he's shifting now to full time starting next month, but that leaves this month kind of like um, with some flexibility in his schedule because he did put in his notice at his other job. And so he's going to finish up a few projects for them, but he gets to work from home. So that allows me to do this pod thing. Um, he keeps the kids those days that I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I get to be with them the other days. So that's what I've been up to. <laughs> um, and I'm really looking forward to, honestly, like I'm looking forward to July and just taking July off. I just really want to focus on my kids when they're home. It's, it's a big part of why um, I taught online to begin with. It's a big part of why I left the classroom all those years ago. I did an entire vlog about that. Um, but having the ability to stay home with my kids full time is my heart. And so like one thing that I've seen with this pod thing is that I don't want to work online as much as I am. Um, and so I'm going to just need to talk to my boss and let her know, but she's amazing. Um, she's also a believer. And so is the other gal that I work with, um, through ready second fitness kids. And if you have kids really ages three, all the way up to teens, um, you should definitely check out the classes that we offer because there are so many fun ones besides my one class that I have listed. Shannon and Kara are amazing fitness teachers and they've got a variety of different classes to choose from that are really cool. Um, I will put that link in the description box. Yeah, I just really wanted to let you know what I've been up to lately. Um, yeah, this, the end of the school year was wild. It was a lot. Ollie finished kindergarten. Jasper just finished up with third grade. And Miles is now going into sixth grade. He graduated fifth grade. There was this whole ceremony. We borrowed a nice sport coat and bought him slacks from um, Old Navy, which is a big deal for this kid because, listen, every single day he basically wears athletic shorts, a t-shirt, and a hoodie. It doesn't matter if it's 30 degrees outside or 95 degrees outside. He will wear this like it is his uniform. Um, so for him to get dressed up was a big deal. He looked amazing and like suit and tie and everything. Um, and so he's going into middle school, which is so cool. I'm very excited for him. He is beyond thrilled. And um, I'm the room parent or I was the room parent for all three classes. So it was super busy that last month of school. Um, and it's just nice to have a breather now and be able to spend time with my family, 
spend time really focusing on things here for our kids wing and um, kind of trying to decide like what I want to do with my online teaching business as well. So now that we um, like we're in full swing summer mode here, I'm just trying to like wrap my head around like what is it that I really want to do and also like what do I want to share with people on here. So there is going to be a shift in my content. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. Uh, because I am in charge of the nursery and preschool classes, I just, there, there are YouTube channels that I remember, um, finding when I first taught three year olds, um, when I was teaching Bible study, um, through Bible study fellowship and I was a children's leader for the threes class. Um, there were a couple of YouTube channels that I absolutely loved and I just really want to share content that's similar to, or even the same songs that they shared as well as Christian content. Um, that I either learned at BSF or created for myself. Um, and I just really want it to be a resource for church nursery or preschool classes, as well as Christian preschools in general. Um, and then even stay at home moms, because I know I loved doing that kind of stuff with my kids when they were toddlers, um, teaching them scripture verses and putting them to songs so that we could memorize them together and doing little motions. I am also going to share like how I created my curriculum for um, this last year because it has really worked for me. Yeah, I have a lot planned and I'm very excited to share and I'm finally ready to like create this stuff for all of you. Um, if you have any specific questions, things related to kids ministry or raising um, your toddlers or preschoolers in a Christian home, like let me know what your questions are. What would you like to see? You can leave a comment down below. Um, I'm just so glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. I will be talking about different books, all the resources, um, yeah, how I create curriculum, what my favorite children's Bibles are, um, what we like to use now that my kids are older. I mean, all those things, there's so much out there and a lot of it's amazing. A lot of it is not. So, um, and for different reasons, I will definitely be sharing what has worked for me. And, um, if you have any recommendations, please let me know. So I'm going to get to putting my bulletin board stuff up and um, I will catch you next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night, whatever time you're watching this, and um, I will see you next time. Bye.